And Deja's hurting in her left shoulder. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, find her clavicle, okay? Humor her head, that little place right underneath the clavicle is where her core core is going to be. So once I find it, oops, close your eyes. Don't blind your patient like I just did. Coming one inch below, and I'm going to step you over to your right. Keep on going. So my central ray, which is right here, needs to be one inch below the coracoid. Okay. Her necklace would have to come off. Everything from the waist up, bra and shirt would come off and we put a gown on her. We're going to do, so I've got center to the coracoid, bringing this board down behind you. over the center chamber. I'm going to do the AP external elbow first. So I want you to take your arm and I want you to turn your hand out. There you go, on the back of your arm all the way up against my board. And I'm going to just bring your arm out just a little bit away from your body. And I gotta make sure I've got her clavicle, so I'm feeling for her what? Jugular notch, making sure I'm including it. I'm gonna slide her over just a hair because I've got some right here. Got jugular notch, so I know I have the medial end of her clavicle. All right. Her hand is supine. I'm gonna get you to turn your head away from me. Make sure there's nothing in the field of view of this area. I'm going to put my marker on here left marker. And I'm going to get my patient to hold her breath. Don't oop, chill. hold your breath. Don't breathe. Don't move. Beep. You can breathe and relax. So that is external. Keep everything the same. Get you to take your hand and I want you to put the back of your hand up against your side. Just like that. So the back of her hand is going to be right up against her side. Keep your shoulder relaxed. Make sure I'm still one inch below the coracoid. Make sure she's not rotated at all. Hold just like that. Look away for me. Hold your breath. Don't breathe. Don't move. Beep. You can breathe and relax. So that is internal. Y'all, what's happening when she is in external? Remember with the AP humerus, what's going on in the proximal humeral area? Tell me about your tubercle. It's going to be on the outside of the... Which one? Greater. Greater tubercle is in profile, right? That means you can see it sticking out. When she turns her hand into the internal That's rotation... The it brings the lesser tubercle in profile, but it's medial. So look over here at this. These images, this image right here is an AP. Can you see this greater tubercle and how it's sticking out there? That's with the hand supine. Mm -hmm. All right. This image here shows the lesser tubercle medially in profile. That's with the hand and an internal rotation. And the neutral is by the side, so you've got the um, greater tubercle is not necessarily in profile, it's just anterior, okay? But we do the neutral only if the patient comes in and they aren't, they're unable to move their arm at all. Maybe there's a fracture that you can see or you know it's injured or they're in so much pain they can't rotate. Then we just leave the arm by the side and we shoot one inch below the coracoid. Okay. Next, we're going to go into the gracie, which is an oblique. Hold on, backing up. Technique for APs and gracie. 85 kvp using the center chamber 
If you're doing a manual technique where you have to set your mass, maybe you're not using the wall bucky, it would be 85 kbp and it's going to be about 4.5 mass. Okay. And that's for the APs and the gratia. And that's in your technique chart. Now we're going to do the gratia. So the purpose of the gratia, the AP showed us the greater tubercle and profile and the lesser tubercle and profile. The gratia is going to open up the joint space between the humeral head and the glenoid fossa. So we want to get the patient to put their hand on their tummy for us. All right. That's going to bring that arm away from the body. And we're going to angle you. So turn your body towards me. A little bit. We're going to angle her about 35 to 45 degrees and relax your shoulder all the way up against that board. Angle up a little bit more and step forward. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to open up that joint space. So you can see the, can y'all see how round her humeral head is here? See it right there? So that tells me her joint space is right behind her humeral head, right? So if I bring her elbow, I'm gonna bring your elbow out and away. Relax your shoulder again. Okay. My central ray is gonna be about two inches from the superior border of her shoulder and two inches medial from the lateral aspect of her shoulder. So basically what you're doing is you're coming in to the shoulder joint. Can you see it right there? You see how our humeral head rounds right there? You're coming right into that shoulder joint. That means that this central ray may be a little off. It depends on the, the patient's chest size, the soft tissue as to where that line's gonna be. But remember, it's, it's coming in at an angle, or it's coming in straight, but the patient's body is angled. It's still coming straight through that joint space. So the joint has to be over the center chamber. Here, I'm gonna collimate down to eight by 10. Come in a little bit closer on this joint space. And y'all, you can really go eight by 10 crosswise or eight by 10 lengthwise on this. It just, it doesn't really matter. Some places are gonna go in even closer than an eight by 10. So just kind of go with whatever your hospital or facility protocol is. You collimate in, you gotta bring your marker in. Shield your patient. Um, if they have a face shield on, we give them the look up. <laughs> but hold your breath. Don't breathe. Don't move. Beep. All right, you can breathe and relax. So that's Gracie. Let me show you what it looks like over here. So here is an image. See this joint space? This is the glenoid fossa. This is the humeral head. I'm trying to open up that area so I can see straight through it. That way, if there's any injury, any tears or broken... Um, broken bone in the glenoid fossa area or in the humeral head area, we'll be able to see it. We want to make sure that joint space is nice and open, okay? The last